Hi, this is Maurice from Solution Experts. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use SVN client. In earlier version, we have covered SVN server. Uh, just we are query here, uh, this subversion is installed of normal Linux machine. And our uh, M install uh, subversion SVN. Install the client software. M install subversion. This will install SCN client from a repository. Uh, there you see subversion. And uh, our server is already installed uh, that we covered in the previous video. If you want, you can refer it uh, at our channel. Uh, <coughs> so installation is just we are querying whether to confirm that this uh, required package is got installed. Yeah, there we see and the subversion I tell it, 686 means uh, 32 bit operating system. Uh, if you search for which SCN, uh, you'll know uh, the package SCN command located in user bin SCN. And also, you can query uh, RPM QF so file uh, query to know the corresponding package of it. So, SCN help is something like uh, to detail information how best you can use this in command. And uh, there are different cat, add, copy, delete, and export, and then import, then info. Uh, and there are a lot more commands you can use uh, while uh, interacting with the SPN server. And uh, this is our SPN server. There we are going to create, uh, let's log in, uh, the session got logged. And uh, since we logs in, uh, there we see a repository. Under the repository section, we have a create option. You can create the repository for each project and uh, empty or create a standard structure, like training branch tag. So this is the recommended uh, procedure to create the SCN repository for project. It got created now. So there you see status OK. Let's go back to SVN and let's look at, uh, go at SVN URL. This is the test SVN repository we have created. You can log in or uh, do a CN check or check in using the below command. And let's create a user account for demonstration. Uh, test one, create, create, then uh, point it to login name as a uh, test one, test one, and uh, then full name, give any name in detail, password, just using simple password, test one, two, three and then email of associated user. So to get the notification or uh, triggering notification on any change, or uh, SCN permit. So there are different roles. You can uh, assign the role. So usually a developer can have a role called role user, basic user. So we are going with done. This uh, creation is completed. If you want to edit, you can look, uh, invoke the edit button and modify the change, modify accordingly. Let's go back to the repository and uh, just uh, click on a, a just we, we are copying this uh, to a notepad uh, in order to do check out from SVN client machine. Copy and then paste in our notepad for future reference. Paste. Trunk usually development stage is uh, through trunk. Once build is stable, we can move it to tag it to branch or something like tag final version. So there is a complete SGLC process uh, to optimize the software development lifecycle. So this is the URL we are invoking. So yeah, a prompting for username. So we use test one which we have created years before. So we are we are successfully logged. So there you see different uh, branch, tag, trunk. So initially we will use trunk for development phase. Just check out this URL. This is the checkout URL. You can check out using this parameter from any of the SVN client. Uh, we are going to demonstrate on Linux. So let's copy this in notepad for future reference. Copy. Ah, sorry. sorry paste and then the second line to avoid the confusion here. 
paste yes it is done so we copy it now so uh, check out the option where we can take the source code update from or if you are new if you are finding a new client uh, just check out is the so, uh, basic command which you will apply to take the update complete source code into your system so here we are creating a uh, directory called demo and i will show you uh, the, uh, some activities to SQL command mkdr project one and you can create uh, n number of projects either this is for test purpose so we are uh, switched over to project creating test one test two test three three total three files have been created through the touch command so what we'll do uh, we'll uh, commit these three files to to scn repository i just uh, as we created in one step to scn server with console so just here and then we'll paste the command uh, the url what we copied earlier from the scn server and you can add uh, these three files to the scn server scn http colon let's uh, uh, scn dot demo dot com and uh, phone number so and so with so let's copy instead of typing it manually uh, to save the time so this is the url you can use http till test after the test you can apply trunk so copy and then paste here then test one test two test three oh what is this it's not a working copy okay what we'll do we'll yes, we'll commit check out we'll take the complete sorry check out and the complete url through so this will prompt you for username the center to apply a different user then test one password test one uh, store password encrypted say no Oh, said let's ls see there you see trunk created so go back to uh, switch over to trunk folder it has nothing in it because it's new repository we created in the previous step so let's uh, touch uh, the three files as we did in the previous step uh, clear and then test one test two test three has been created now we'll start adding add is a command option uh, with the scn and this will add these three files to SQL repository. That's done. If you go, these three files has been added. Let's go back and uh, check into the SQL server. Refresh the URL. And sorry, we have added SQL, but we have not committed this. After adding this, we have to commit these files. Yes, uh, SQL, SQL, commit space hyphen m. Uh, double quotation uh, just give, uh, give the complete details about the commit like uh, this commit is for something we are doing this for demo test one test two test three so we'll commit ask for username test one uh, password test on the three no encrypted password no this is these three files has been added if you go to the web console and check uh, just refresh this once to reflect oh yeah three files have been created test one test two test three that's awesome let's go back do some other options okay here so these are the three files and we committed now it's in sync with SQL server so we will create another folder uh, called demo to do same checkout and uh, in separate folder check out you can do check out either use co uh, similar uh, check out and rl co will do the same uh, just copy this and uh, 
copy if you want to copy entire thing no problem you can copy it will not ask for you to use a password directly ask for test one test one password right username test one password test one to three no yeah we got it we got as trend I go switch over to trend now we'll see In the same files what we committed from other folder project one folder we have checked out the same uh, repository structure into some other folder uh, local folder next uh, we'll add another folder a file touch for, for SVN add test for uh, so let's commit it as an m as an test for add it and then uh, test for this will ask for password again so we'll say no uh, right done so these one uh, extra file another file has been added if you go and check you see test 4 is added now go back to project folder clear cd trunk there you see see one in this folder the test screen is not uh, updated so we'll do update to, to get that new file added from other source yes there we see it's it's added now test 4 that was that yeah test 4 is added here so this test 4 was uh, basically added from other source of folder but pointing to the same repository but uh, to take the latest update from the SVN server we can use SVN update that's it that will retrieve all the latest version of code to the current working directory. let's remove SVN remove hyphen m test 4 file deleted test 4 this will delete oh what happened is no not take long message are you here? oh what is the mistake what happened here uh, so remove no uh, remove let's oh uh, let's see oh we forgot to specify the complete uh, here we need to have URL, complete URL, right? Copy uh, repository URL, uh, trunk slash test for. Test for remove hyphen M is missed. Uh, yeah, hyphen M is missed. M. That's right. M no ls now oh it's still not being synced. So what we can do this can update uh, does not exist. That's so that has been removed from the scan repository, not from the local folder structure. What we can do is go and uh, validate yes from the SVN server side uh, that uh, test four is eliminated. So let's say SVN update. Now this will do an update in which it will remove the test for right. It got deleted. That's great. SVN log is the option where you can see what are the commits and uh, what are the action has been performed on SVN server. The test one user, test one user has deleted one file, test four file, and then file added by demo uh, to demo folder. From demo folder to a scene repository, all the logs you can check out. And the scene help is the help option to apply different options with the scene command. And uh, there are a lot more command here copying, commit, clean, checkout, and uh, info list. And checkout either use co, no, uh, they both function similarly as a short abbreviation of uh, checkout. Let's See there, there you see checkout is the full, full uh, context. You can use only co instead of commit. Uh, sorry, checkout. Either use checkout full text or use a shortcut like co. Like in the commit form, you can use commit or ci. Okay.
well, this is the files now we shall do something go and check i will copy this again and we'll do the checkout using ch okay okay this is the port number uh, for the base interaction usually the trunk is the option either you can use branch or tag to commit or check out the source code the different uh, branches used for different purpose but development phase will be using trunk so you can specify the username like that to avoid the, the user prompt like initially when we are doing checkout it's asking for root password because we logged in to the system as a root so avoid that you can use the username test one then to the checkout it will ask for the applied uh, password username trunk so this is how this can command can be used adding deleting a lot more options just to refer the help command which will point testing you can while doing the checkout you can use any folder name one more uh, the good example here is so let's create a folder view and underneath uh, what we'll do we'll check out uh, we'll check out instead of it's creating trunk folder instead of that we'll use demo then we'll do checkout so it will create a demo view so we can rename the folder while doing the checkout so if you don't apply any folder name then it will check out it will do the trunk it will create the trunk folder and then you know, copy every file from the SVM so here the good option like as per the project you can clear the project name and then check out so that makes the uh, uh, release management easier and uh, effective so this is a cat test i'm adding i'm uh, equating some context to a test file for test one so test one uh, i put test so let's see the content of the test one underneath there is a test so let's update so this will uh, modify the exp uh, it will check for the updated one then commit it to the scan server info this will do the complete repository setting and username and directory uh, uh, revision everything i see and uh, status will do you know what is scn we are interacting to SCN log will show you the complete uh, log information like commitment, uh, yes, the report revision, and commit. Meeting by users, everything.